guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere CS5. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rollover button and we're going to position it. So I'm going to select File New, create myself a new document. I'm going to go to Insert, Image Objects, and then select Rollover Image. Select my first image, and then my second image. Over here it has the local file name. For your website, you're going to put in your full URL and the location of your file over here. I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to select the old text. This is good for SEO. And then I'm going to put the URL for the button. And this is going to take me to my YouTube channel. Click OK. The next thing we're going to do is actually wrap it with a div tag. So I'm going to go to insert, layout objects, div tag. The class is going to be button. And we're going to call the ID Adobe Easy. Hit OK. And this is a div tag right here. To position this, we're going to create ourselves a new CSS rule. Select OK. Select OK again. In the coding here, I'm going to hit Enter. And the width will be 223 pixels. And the height, 180 pixels. Now for the position, we're going to go padding. And I'm going to select 50 pixels, 50 pixels pixels and one more time now let me explain this the width I'm setting it around the actual button over here because the button is 223 pixels the height is 180 pixels it really depends on your project so everybody's gonna have different things going on here but for the padding the reason I did this was because I wanted it to be centered in my div tag so 50 pixels here means top the second one means right third one means bottom and then the last one means left. Let me go over that again. Top, right, bottom, left. And that's how the padding works when you apply it this way. And that's it. And let me just test this out before we go. There's a rollover. Hit the button and it goes to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.